Hello again guys and welcome back to Every Tech Time. So today I will do a video tutorial on how to install MS-DOS 5.0 or 5.0 in VirtualBox. So, so yeah this is a video tutorial on how to install MS-DOS in VirtualBox again. So as usual I will have the links in the description for the for the floppy disks for MS-DOS 5 and yeah, and also the link to download VirtualBox if you don't have that on your computer, as usual. Well, I mean, and I mean, I mean, as usual as in these videos, not if you have VirtualBox installed or not. Yeah, that's a different story. So, so yeah, I'm currently trying to um, get back to 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 doing this stuff, these videos. Although I tried to, but yeah, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So, anyway, let's get started. So, as usual, we're going to create a new virtual machine and call it MS-DOS 5.0. And the version is DOS and the type is Other. So that's fine. Click Next. 32 megabytes of, of RAM is fine. Create a virtual hard disk, the VirtualBox disk image of VDI file, and 500 megabyte hard drive. Click Create. Go to Settings, and under Storage, you you choose a disk file. And and here's my folder with the um with the MSOS 5.0 floppy disks. Select, um, choose disk 1, click open, and press OK. Now let's, alright, so now let's start our virtual machine. Oh, that's just some, some pop-up that tends to, 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 to show up every time I create a new virtual machine. Yeah, just ignore that. Click start. All right, so we're in the setup. So press enter to continue. And the settings are correct. So we can just continue on that. Yes, the listed options are correct. Unless you want to change where it's installed to and if you want to run the shell as in DOS shell, DOS shell, the shell for MS-DOS 5.0, but that's all right. So We'll just continue, but you can change these settings if you want to. Yeah, sure, let's allocate this this disk space. <laughs> but you can choose whatever you want. But I'll choose to allocate all, all free disk space for MS-DOS. Alright, so it's now telling us to insert disk 2. So we'll do that. Now for disk 3. Disk 4. And finally disk 5. Alright, so the setup is now complete as it says. So go to devices and click remove disk from virtual drive and now we'll press enter to restart alright so here's the MS-DOS shell or simply DOS shell as and this means that MS-DOS 5.0 has been successfully installed so yeah this is the um, um this is the default startup program for MS-DOS 5 uh, apparently you have you have the A drive and B drive and C drive by default it's C drive but you can also choose the A drive if you want to if you want to do stuff with them um, with the with media and the floppy disk format and to navigate you press tab 
here's the directory tree and the C drive and the main the main programs which I think they're called here's the command prompt yeah we'll just exit that so yeah and here's some of the files for MS-DOS and well that's pretty much it it's very simple to install this version of MS-DOS in VirtualBox or on actual hardware um, depending on on how it's used I, I guess so yeah, it's very simple, and it doesn't take long at all. Alright, so that's how you do what you just saw in the video, as I've explained. So, uh, so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, um, for more videos from me. So with that said, this is Every Tech Time, and I'll see you in the next video.